Hello students, in this video we'll discuss the Martingale property of discounted stock prices that follow a binomial tree distribution. So we'll suppose that SN is a stock price with binomial tree distribution. And what that means is it means that if I start at S0, I will go up to S0 1 plus U with probability P. And with probability 1 minus P, I'll go to S0 1 plus D, where U is the up rate and D is the down rate. And so these U and D will define for us, so here, my one step rate of return K1 will be U with probability P and D with probability 1 minus P. We can compute the expected value of this one step return. E of K1 will be equal to UP plus D times 1 minus P. And we can see from this that the expected value of S1 is going to be S0, that is a constant value. Then with probability P will be this, so probability P will be 1 plus U plus 1 minus P and then 1 plus D. And what we can do is we can note that this will simplify to S0 and then 1 plus the expected value of K1. And now what we can note is we can note that, remark, if there is a risk free, rate of R, then S0 1 plus R would be the accumulated value if you invested S0. So what we can do is we can say we would like to compare the 1 plus R to the 1 plus expected value of K1. So if we equate these two values over here, so equating, equating 1 plus the expected value of K1 and 1 plus R, we will see that R will be equal to the expected value of K1 or UP plus D1 minus P. Solving this equation for P, we can write this out as U minus D P plus D. So this will tell me that P, if P, the probability of going up to a, prob to a value of S01 plus U, if that probability is R minus D over U minus D, this special probability will be called the equivalent Martingale probability. And typically we will write P star for this equivalent probability just to delineate it from all other probabilities. Now we saw in previous videos the following. We saw previously we saw that the expected value of S2 given S1 was S1 times 1 plus the expected value of K1. We saw this result previously. And more generally what we can see, if the one step rates of return are IID, so if K1 through KN are IID, identically independently distributed random variables with the same mean and same expectation, then we can see that the expected value of Sn given Sn minus 1 will be Sn minus 1, 1 plus the expected value of K1. So what we can see is we can say in the case that I choose the probability to be the risk-free probability, so we will have the result that the risk-free choice of probability, conditional expecta the expectation of Sn given Sn 
minus 1 will be s n minus 1 times 1 plus r. So what we can do in this expression is we can take this entire expression and multiply it by nu to the n, where nu is 1 is the discount factor for the risk-free rate of return. Doing so, I know that the conditional expectation is linear, so I can write this as the conditional expectation with respect to the risk-free probability of nu to the n s n given s n minus 1 will be, now one of the factors of nu will cancel out this 1 plus r, so this 1 plus r will cancel out with one of the factors of n and replace it with n minus 1, so I will have that this is equal to nu to the n minus 1, s to the n minus 1, and what this implies is this property is referred to, it's very important, it's referred to as the Martingale property of the discounted stock prices. So this is our Martingale property of S n nu to the n. So the discounted stock prices at time n that follow a binomial tree measured with respect to the risk-free probability measure p star will give you a martingale sequence. And we'll see in future videos how the properties of martingales and how we can exploit the properties and theorems of martingales to make information and make decisions about the stock prices at future times. Thank you very much.